electrolysis of water. Try this activity. Dissolve 2 gram salt in 500 milliliters pure water. Take 250 milliliters of this solution in a 500 milliliters capacity beaker. Connect two electrical wires to the positive and negative terminals of a power supply. Remove the insulating cladding from about 2 cm portions at the other ends of the wires. These are the two electrodes. Fill two test tubes up to the brim with the prepared dilute salt solution. Invert them on the electrodes without allowing any air to enter. Start the electric current under 6 volt potential difference from the power supply. Observe what happens in the test tubes after some time. 1. Did you see the gas bubbles forming near the electrodes at the test tubes? 2. Are these gases heavier or lighter than water? These gases are lighter than water as they are collected by downwards displacement of air. 3. Are the volumes of the gases collected over the solution in the two test tubes the same or different? No, they are different. It is found in the above activity that the volume of the gas formed near the cathode is double that of the gas formed near the anode. Scientists have shown that hydrogen gas is formed near the cathode and oxygen gas near the anode. From this, it is clear that electrolysis of water has taken place and its constituent elements have been released. The concerned electrode reactions are as follows. Cathode reaction, 2 H2O liquid plus 2 electrons gives H2 gas plus 2 OH minus aqueous. Anode reaction, 2 H2O liquid gives O2 gas plus 4H plus aqueous plus 4 electrons. Test the solutions in the two test tubes with litmus paper. What do you see? Oxygen and hydrogen gas have no effect on litmus paper. Repeat the activity by using dilute H2SO4 as well as dilute NaOH as the electrolyte.